Yo, right, folks, Haynes here, and welcome to this quick video on why you should be taking CAD and engineering courses here at the Hermson High School. So without further gilding lily and with no more ado, let's get into designing your future, the benefits of CAD and engineering courses here at Hermson High School. CAD and engineering courses offer a unique opportunity to acquire skills of immense value for any upcoming career. You get to engage in problem-solving activities and exhibit your creativity through immersive, hands-on projects. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, why are these courses significant to me, my life, and my future? But before I ask your question, let me pose a couple of my own. Do you want to emerge as a pioneer in a field, an innovator, a problem solver? Or maybe you just want to make things as a hobby or as a side hustle to make your life a little bit more fiscally lucrative. Well, if you answered any of those questions the affirmative, then engineering courses are for you. Whether you choose it as a career or whether you just want to be a maker as a hobbyist, this could help you out. An engineer doesn't have to accept things or the world for the way they are or the way it is. You're going to develop the skill set to change physical or digital artifacts to better mirror the way you see the world. We're going to equip you with the skills to create, renovate, and innovate so that you can be the one that gets to design the future according to your whims. And how do we plan on doing that? By supplying you with some seriously in-demand skills. So CAD and engineering courses offer a wealth of in-demand skills that are highly valued by employers. These skills include problem solving, critical thinking, creativity, which are absolutely essential for today's fast-paced, tech-driven world. For example, students who take CAD and engineering courses learn how to use cutting-edge software and tools to design and build complex systems, both physical and immaterial. They also develop analytical skills which enable them to identify and solve problems quickly and efficiently. In addition, these courses foster creativity by encouraging students to think both in and outside the box and come up with innovative solutions to real-world challenges. Now, in terms of career opportunities, CAD and engineering courses offer a wide variety of career opportunities, from cutting edge tech to building innovative infrastructure. The demand for professionals with CAD and engineering credentials is off the charts because industries are having to keep up with this fast paced tech world. And people with software engineering, people with CAD experience, people with mechanical engineering are able to keep them up with their competitors. So if you get one of these degrees from a college, try to not get hired coming out of there. Now, while we're on the subject of four-year degrees in engineering, no other degree field in general pays more on average than that of a four-year degree in engineering. So if money, along with all the other benefits of this career that we have been and will continue discussing, if money is important to you, a career in engineering could be the one. And just so you know, I'm not pulling this information out of nowhere. I got this straight from George Fox's engineering website, and they pulled their data from the BLS, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. So taking a look at their occupational handbook, you're going to see a lot of lucrative jobs. Most of them requiring a bachelor or an associate's, a few masters, and there are even a few decently paying jobs that just require high school. So whether or not you're on the college path, a CAD and engineering credential could be a good path forward to a financially secure future. So on the CAD and engineering pathway, everything we do in class is going to have real world applications. Those applications apply across industries like architecture, manufacturing, technology. Uh, so for example, architects will use soft, the, like the very same software we use in class on the job. They're going to be using the programs we use, AutoCAD and Revit, to be designing 2D uh, blueprints and floor plans or fully rendered 3D models that can be generated in Revit. So nothing we do is not going to have applications beyond the classroom. In the manufacturing realm, which is actually my background, detailed CAD designs are absolutely essential to everything's done. Whether it's an additive process, an extrusion process, a perfect detailed CAD model is absolutely vital to cr the creation of the products that we work with, we see, we use every day. If you look around the classroom you're sitting in, pretty much everything you see around you, including the room itself, was designed in CAD software. 
And in the engineering program of study, there is an incredibly heavy emphasis on hands-on learning. You're not gonna be sitting through long-winded lectures. You're not gonna be writing 20-page term papers with a heavy research emphasis. You are going to be using the CAD software that you will then be exporting to our printers to later assemble. You are gonna be soldering breadboards or PCBs. You're gonna be in the back on the resin printers. You're gonna be cutting things on the laser cutter. We are very, very hands-on in this program. We believe in experiential learning and that is backed by the research. There is a connection between your brain and your hands. So we know that when you are building things, when you're using your hands, which hands are fundamental and hands-on learning, we know that that's sticking in your brain. So every day you are going to be engaged, directly engaged in hands-on learning. So to wrap things up here, these CAD and engineering courses are going to equip you with in-demand skills. You are gonna gain those skills through hands-on learning. We are going to develop your critical thinking, your problem solving, your creativity. We are engaging you in a program of study that offers diverse career paths in architecture, manufacturing, technology. We are equipping you with the skills to get a high demand job and to have a job market advantage when out applying. And in addition to all that, we are gonna equip you with the hard and soft skills that are gonna give you a huge job market advantage in whatever sector you decide to go into. But the main benefit we're gonna get here is you are going to acquire the skills to create. You are going to be a maker by the end of this. Instead of having to go to Amazon and pay 20 bucks for a product that kinda sorta fits your need, you are gonna have the skill set to spend an hour of sweat equity to make that product, spend maybe a dollar in materials, and that will suit your purpose perfectly. That is what an engineer does, and on the small scale, that is what a maker does, and that is what we want you to be by the end of our program of study. Um, so that's gonna about do it for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, and snide remarks, go ahead and put them in the comment section down below. Um, but I really appreciate you watching and I hope you have a great day and please do consider our engineering program study here at Hermiston High School. Cheers.